Nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. Hi, I'm HC, and watching this video until the end will help you understand yourself deeper than you understand it now. Stay tuned. There are times when you have seemingly tried everything, yet you still come to a point where you want something different for yourself in order to become and feel more fulfilled. At this point, things cease to make sense, and you start to wonder how you got in this predicament in the first place. To reinvent yourself means to create a difference in your persona that will be more congruent to the person you desire to become. Reinventing yourself could include changing your pursuits, your environment, the people you spend your time with, and ultimately your way of life. This change could help you create better relationships, help you appreciate yourself more deeply, and even help you achieve the goals that you long sought after. This is why knowing how to reinvent yourself is such an important factor on the journey of you becoming your best you. So, without further ado, here are the steps on how to reinvent yourself. Step 1. Cleanse In order to adequately reinvent yourself, you must first cleanse yourself of what once was so that you can begin to accept what will be. According to its literal definition, to cleanse means to make clean, free from filth, impurity, infection, or, in general, from whatever is or was polluting, nauseous, or offensive. In this context, to cleanse means exactly that, but on a personal level. In order to continue to move forward, you must rid yourself of any guilt, regret, negative thoughts, or self-loathing that kept you as you were before this moment. This includes making yourself free of surroundings and even certain people in your life that are no longer growing with you. To begin your journey to reinvention, it is essential to also Cleanse yourself of the things that are possibly working against your maturation. This could range from the clothing you wear to the items that you are holding on to, reminding you of a reality that no longer serves you. Because if you are attached to them, they will continue to be attached to you. For example, let's say you have an ex-partner who gave you a necklace for one of your anniversaries, an ex who you were with for a few years, an ex that you loved so much that you believed that they were the one, and that necklace represented that love bond. Yet, that very same ex ended up breaking your heart in the worst way. Holding on to that necklace and seeing it every day will likely remind you of a reality that once was and will likely continue to be an illusion of the reality you believed that you wanted as it is filled with sentimental value representing the person that you once believed you were. To cleanse includes letting go of all of these attachments so that you can move on to a clean emotional start and give yourself a real chance at participating in the life that is true to you. Step 2. Let go of the old you. Always remember, old solutions cannot solve your new problem. Think of it this way. Let's say you studied really hard for a final math exam in high school, and as a result, not only did you get the highest grade in the class, you also did your personal best. Then, because of the amazing results on that exam, next year, 
for the final exam at the next level instead of studying, doing your best, and really paying attention to the new material meticulously, you rely on all of the information you learned last year and take the test and give the exact same answers as last year to all the new questions. Needless to say, you will fail that test. In the same way, to let go of the old you means to accept that you are looking for something new of your life and the answers of the past won't solve the problems of the present. Letting go means to accept that very little of what you believed you were is really you. Remember, you are the person that learned the personality and adapted to that way of being. But that personality is the product, not the creator. The creator is you. To let go of the old you means to be open to responding to new information differently and to begin treating your life in a way that is more in unison with who you are becoming. This includes letting go of cultural, social, and maybe even information from family indoctrination in order to allow yourself to become who you are. Step 3. Remember who you are. In this context, remembering who you are is a process. It means to first accept that a lot of what you think you are comes from association with the people that you spend time with, the places you go, the hurt you have felt, and the things that occupy your mind the most. Then, begin to peel the layers from that person in order to become acquainted with who is behind that being, you. To remember who you are in this context means to get familiar with the root of the stem of the tree, the tree of your life. Before all of the things that you were told and influenced to be, who were you? Remembering who you are means to form an intimate bond with the creator of your persona. When you know who you are, you can assume any form without shame guilt, or regret, because, at your core, you are who you are. The journey of reinvention starts from within. Step 4. Accept. When you've passed the step of remembering who you are, the next step is to accept it for what it is. To accept means not to run away from the truth of whoever that person in the mirror is. You can't run from who you are. Pay attention to that person. Get to know that person. Love that person. Because it is that person that has the power to take you to where you want to be, and no one else can. Others may dislike you, think what you say and think is silly, discredit you, and some may even fear you but that has nothing to do with you. Once you accept yourself for who you are, what others think is irrelevant and is, quite frankly, none of your business. Look at yourself in the mirror and become comfortable with what you see. Understand and respect your humanity and your ability to adapt. Step 5. Believe. One of the most important steps to reinventing yourself is to believe that it is possible without a shadow of a doubt. Belief has the power to ignite your journey and help you move forward when all else seems to have been in vain. Nothing happens until you make it happen. Believe. Always remember, your perception of yourself will carve out a life for you to live, but what you are carving out is essentially up to what you believe to be possible. You can be anything you want to be. It all begins with a decision to be. Step 6. Prepare for Change 
This means to be mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally ready for the change that you are calling in your life. Heighten your skills and ready yourself for the trip. This could include, but is not limited to, working out, meditating, and even eating well, or simply changing your diet. This also means to have the patience to fail and to make mistakes. It's not an easy road, but always remember, as said by Lao Tzu, nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. So that's it, Howell family. Those are the six steps on how to reinvent yourself and to start moving forward today. Thank you for watching this video until the end. You are appreciated. Post a comment below and let people know how reinventing yourself has helped you on your journey. Like and share this video and consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. I'll see you here next time on Howell Consultations, the how-to to being true to you.